Hey guys, what if there was a technique that if you would employ it before you show the presentation to someone, they would be eager to hear the presentation, they'd almost be begging to hear it, and in many cases they would be ready to sign up before they even see the presentation. Well, there is such a technique, and it's called the three-step setup, and I'm going to teach it to you now. The three-step setup has obviously three steps. Step one is going to be your why. Step two, we call it big deal all in, and step three is don't care. I'm going to walk you through each of those three steps and tell you what you say at each point that's going to create an environment that causes your prospect to be eager to hear the presentation and want to sign up before they ever see it. Step one is your why. Why are you building World Ventures? What is your reason for doing this business? Now when you're going through your why, there's one critical component. You need to be as vulnerable as possible. You need to open up your heart. You need to share the real hurts or pains or problems that you have in your life that you're trying to solve with this business. The more uh, pain that you can share with someone, the bigger the problem is, the more they're going to be wanting to hear what we're doing here. So I'll give you an example using my why. I might sit you down for coffee and say, hey, thanks for meeting with me. Listen, you know I've been in the software industry for a long time, and from the outside looking in, it probably looks like everything's going great. Let me tell you something. I'm dying inside. I am never home. I don't see my wife. I don't see my kids. I have no relationship with my children, and I can just see the writing on the wall. They're going to walk out of our house at 18 and never come back. And, uh, you know, I've got priorities like my ministry, and I have no time for any of that stuff. And so we've been praying for something, some way that I could be home more frequently, and we just found it. Okay. That's a why. I was as vulnerable as I could be. Your why is going to be different. Maybe you have an elderly parent that needs care and you don't have a way to pay for it. Maybe you've been dropping your kids off at child care and you're tired of doing that. Maybe you have uh, just graduated from high school, you want to go to college, and your parents didn't save enough money for you to go to the school of your choice. I don't know what your why is, but you want it to be something that's real and something that will connect emotionally. Here's a good thing to think about. There are what we call so what phrases and things that we call me too phrases. See, if I was to sit you down and say, hey, listen, I don't know if you know this, but I'm dying to have a Ferrari. That's a so what phrase. You don't care about me getting a Ferrari, but if I say, listen, I've been dropping my kids off at childcare for three years and you know what? They cry every single time. They come home sick frequently because they're around a bunch of other sick kids and it's just killing me as a parent to do that. Now that's a me too phrase. You connect with that emotionally. So you're going to want to go through that why, be as vulnerable as possible, and the way that you transition from step one, your why, into step two, big deal all in is going to be this phrase. You're going to say, we've been praying for something and we just found it. Now, if you're not a praying person, don't pretend you are and don't say praying. You could insert, we've been looking for something and just found it. Or I've been looking for something and I just found it. And that's the end of step one. That transitions you into step two, which is going to be big deal all in. And here's how that would sound. You're going to say, now this thing I found or this thing that I've been praying for is a big deal. It is huge. I've done all the research. I've met some of the top people and I've decided this is my shot. I'm going all in. And that's it. That's all you tell them. You tell them the thing that you just found is a huge thing and that you're going all in. You can say you've done the research. If you've been to one of our events, you've met some of the top people in the company. So you say, I've met the top people and I'm going all in. And that leads to step three, which is going to be don't care. Now, you're not going to actually say the words don't care. It's just an easy way to remember what step three is. What you're going to do is you're going to say something like this. Let's pretend that I'm showing my friend Joe. I would say, now, Joe, I don't know how this is going to strike you. You may love it. You may not get it right away. I want you to know it doesn't matter to me either way. All I know is I'm going to put this in front of hundreds of people and I wanted to give you the opportunity to be one of the first. Is that cool? So let's go through that. You tell them you don't know how it's going to strike them. They may love it or they may not get it right away. We don't say they may love it or they may hate it because we never want to plant a seed that they may not like it. We're going to say you may love it. You may not get it right away. 
and that's okay. It doesn't matter to me either way. We're friends. We've always been friends. Here's the deal. I'm going to put this in front of thousands of people and I just wanted to give you the opportunity to be one of the first. That's a key phrase. I wanted to give you the opportunity to be one of the first. Is that cool? And that's the way you end it. You always ask that question. Is that cool? They always say, yeah, because guys, they want to hear the answer. You created this giant problem in step one, and they're dying to know what could solve that problem. And if you show them the presentation, they're going to get to hear the answer. They're going to get to see the end of the movie. That's going to set you up for success. So why you're doing this, be as vulnerable as possible. It's a big deal. It sets you up to have all the posture in the world. You're all in. Nothing they could say is going to dissuade you and you don't know how they're going to, uh, how the, it's going to affect them and you don't really care. You don't need them. They need you. All you wanted to do is bless them by gi giving them the opportunity to be one of the first to see it. Is that cool? Of course it's cool. They're ready to go. Guys, do the three-step setup before every single presentation. If you're one-on-one -on -one in a coffee shop or you're sitting in a giant big shot meeting or anything in between, travel parties, two-on-ones, do the three-step setup every single time and it will make a huge difference in your business. Guys, God bless you. I can't wait to meet you at the next event.